If you want to know more about the Roman Empire, you should definitely watch our picks for the best Roman Empire TV shows. Begin! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Britannia, 2017. She met with the Romans, parleyed with them secretly when I forbade it. Why did you go? Britannia is a historical fantasy drama television series created by Jazz Butterworth, Tom Butterworth, and James Richardson. This story of revenge, salvation, and an endless fight against an almighty enemy sees the Roman invasions from a British standpoint. Set in AD 43, the Empire will finally conquer the mystic lands and raid all its inhabitants. Following a slowly dying tribe and the daughter of its leader, they must find a way to protect their people before it's too late. To stop them crucifying our people. And what did the Romans demand in return? Or was it a favor to you? I vowed that I would try and persuade my father to speak with them. Number 9 Attila, 2001 I say if a woman can only have power through a man, then let it be with the most powerful man she can find. Attila is a historical action miniseries created by Robert Cochran and Dick Lowry. This haunting action adaptation of the ancient, epic real-life events follows great warrior Attila on his rise to power. Reigning from 434 to 453, he is led by violence on the mission to unify the Hunnic tribes in order to fight the Roman Empire. Within a never-ending war against the almighty Roman Empire, Attila's greatest enemy is yet to come, General Flavius Aetius, who will make the whole thing personal. <laughs> Number 8 Roman Empire 2016 By the gods, how's this gotten so out of control? I never intended this. Well, is it true? Did you betray us? Roman Empire is a docudrama television series created by Jeremiah Murphy and Peter Sherman. This refreshing exploration of ancient times delivers fascinating themes with an anthology concept where every episode tells a unique and independent story. Together, they create a brilliant puzzle that gives greater insight into the Roman Empire. Led by themes of blood, violence, and the fight for survival, Roman Empire not only explores the reign of infamous dictator Julius Caesar, but also Commodus's reign of blood that would bring destruction all over the world. I thought your father was dead. I knew what that meant, how they would come for us. I was only trying to protect us, to protect you. Number 7 A.D. The Bible Continues 2015 Jesus foretold that Judas would betray him to the Sanhedrin. He also foretold that you would deny him. A.D. The Bible Continues is a biblical drama miniseries created by Roma Downey and Mark Burnett. This biblical drama not only explores, but questions the Bible in adapting from its story. As a sequel, the show begins with the crucifixion of Jesus and his resurrection. Continuing with the first 10 chapters of the epic Act of the Apostles, A.D. The Bible Continues takes on one of the most epic miniseries and the exciting and inspiring events that followed. I can't lie. There was a trial. The mob was baying for his blood. And I was recognized. Number 6 Plebs 2013 We shouldn't be eating loose meat. I don't know what it is. Mm, I reckon it's chicken. It tastes like chicken. Yeah, you know what else tastes like chicken? Humans. Plebs is a comedy television series created by Tom Baston, Caroline Letty, Sam Leifer, and Teddy Leifer. This satirical take on the beloved world of ancient times follows three desperate young men in ancient Rome as they try to get laid, hold down jobs, and climb the social ladder in the big city. While all the friends aspire to be something else, but are forced to relive the same rut over and over again, they all share the same enemy, an ever unscrupulous landlord. This is a chicken leg, Marcus. Look, there is no way 
cuts from a human. This person would be laughably tiny. Mm. Or a baby. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm joking, I'm mucking about. It won't be a baby. OK, I'm finished. Number five. Barbarians, 2020. Casar Sancta Urbis Roma Augustus. Noum legatum at Germania mis. Barbarians is a German historical war drama television series created by Andreas Heckmann, Arnie Nolting, and Jan Martin Scharf. The series is a fictional account of the Battle of the Totoberg Forest that changed the course of Western history and led the Romans never again attempted to conquer the Germanic territories east of the Rhine. Set during the Roman Empire's occupation of Germania, it tells the story of Arminius, who is demanding peace and order in the region as he finds himself caught between two homes. Apudeus ius vetat, quemquam capite damnari ab adio omine. Io su ero germanicum nullum, verum autem Roma. Tandem eis experto opust. Number four. Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, 2011. Behold, Gannicus, champion of the house of Bacchus. Spartacus, Gods of the Arena is a historical drama miniseries created by Stephen S. DeKnight. Being the prequel to the well-beloved Spartacus TV series, Spartacus, Gods of the Arena, focuses on the events occurring right before Spartacus enter the legendary gladiator arenas. It follows Gannicus, the first gladiator becoming champion of Capula. While telling the stories of new legends, the show also represents a nostalgic throwback to the original show, with cameos of the old cast. The crowd will come in great guises, drenching the gods gathered to witness. And Emmaus, once more upon the sands. I would have words with my wife, absent your cock, which has escaped you. <sighs> it will be missed. Number three. I, Claudius, 1976. And you, Arcus Volusius Saturnus, have you slept with my daughter? I, Claudius is a historical drama miniseries created by Jack Pullman and Herbert Wise, exploring the history of the early Roman Empire from the standpoint of a narrator in the form of a diary. The series is told by the early Roman Emperor Claudius, who reigned from 24 BC to AD 54. Within the show, we witness betrayal and intentions of greed, leading to the fall of leaders and political figures like flies. Within the own rose, the enemy is closer than anyone would like. You've a mighty high opinion of yourself, haven't you? Do you imagine that I would stoop to buying you off when I could swat you like a fly if I wanted to? I'm sorry, I, I meant... Hold no. your tongue, I will tell you what I want and you will provide it. Number two. Spartacus, 2010. That's disappointing. Not every venture ends in climax. A fact known well to every woman. Spartacus is a historical drama television series created by Stephen S. DeKnight. Set in 73 BC, we follow the infamous title hero who served as a gladiator in the arenas of Rome. This gory and extremely violent reimagining follows the events that led to the memorable uprising of the slaves against their lords and leaders, including his early life to the beginning of the historical records. We become witness of a man doing anything to regain his taken freedom and reunite with his wife. You must visit us there when you gain freedom. I no longer concern myself with thoughts beyond these walls. And nor should you. A true champion dreams only of the arena. And what does one dream of when he is no longer a champion? Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. You may consider yourself honored and will acquit your duty accordingly. Oh, by the gods, you will answer to me. Honored. You hear? Ah! Silence! It begins just like this. One man. And if he draws blood, he can take the regiment with him. Look through the flaps, but make sure you're not seen. And what sort of guidance are you looking for? Perhaps Minerva will hear. I'd ask her to send me far from Rome. Far from this boring life. I hope she answers for you. What's your name, Vesta? Kamenei. Number one. 
Rome, 2005. If you need to urinate, now would be the time. I'm fine, thank you. Sure. Rome is a historical drama television series created by John Milius, William J. MacDonald, and Bruno Heller, setting a refreshing tone with a mixture of real-life inspired history and fictional mythology. Rome is not only suspenseful, but truly epic. Beginning with Julius Caesar's Civil War in 49 BC, the show captures his rise to dictatorship and his ultimate fall with the horrific consequences of war, destruction, and blood, leading the normal man to fight for his survival. Watch closely, boy. This is how history is made. Now, let's have some fun. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.